Investing for Beginners 5 Easy Steps Are you overwhelmed by the idea of investing not sure where to start? Don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to start investing and growing your money. So many people put off investing because it seems complicated, risky, or like something only rich people do. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Investing is crucial for building long-term wealth, no matter how much money you have right now. Even small amounts invested consistently can grow significantly over time thanks to the power of compound interest. This video will break down five simple steps to get you started even if you're a complete beginner. Before you throw your money into the stock market, it's essential to understand the basics. Investing can be a powerful tool for building wealth, but it comes with its own set of risks and rewards. By grasping the fundamentals, you can make more informed decisions and avoid common pitfalls. We'll start with stocks, which represent ownership in a company. When you own a stock, you own a small piece of that company, entitling you to a portion of its profits and assets. Stocks can be volatile, but they also offer the potential for high returns. When you buy a stock, you're buying a tiny piece of that company. This means you become a shareholder, and your investment's value can rise or fall based on the company's performance and market conditions. Then there are bonds, which are essentially loans you make to a government or corporation. In return, you receive periodic interest payments and the return of the bond's face value when it matures. Bonds are generally considered less risky than stocks, making them a popular choice for conservative investors. They're generally considered less risky than stocks. However, it's important to remember that bonds are not risk-free. Factors like interest rate changes and the issuer's creditworthiness can affect bond prices. Now let's talk about index funds. These are like baskets of stocks that track a specific market index like the S&P 500. By investing in an index fund, you gain exposure to a broad range of companies, which helps spread out your risk. They offer instant diversification, which is key for minimizing risk. Diversification means not putting all your eggs in one basket. So if one investment performs poorly, others may perform well, balancing out your overall returns. Similar to index funds are ETFs, or exchange-traded funds. ETFs also track indexes but trade like stocks on an exchange, offering flexibility and liquidity. They also track indexes but trade like stocks. This means you can buy and sell ETFs throughout the trading day at market prices, making them a versatile investment option. Understanding these basic investment vehicles is crucial for making informed decisions. Each type of investment has its own characteristics, risks, and benefits, so it's important to choose the ones that align with your financial goals and risk tolerance. Don't worry, it's not rocket science. With a bit of effort and the right resources, anyone can learn the basics of investing. Take your time, do your research, and remember, knowledge is power when it comes to investing. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to make smart investment choices. Don't fall for get-rich-quick schemes. These often promise high returns with little effort, but they are usually too good to be true and can lead to significant financial losses. Slow and steady wins the race. Consistent, disciplined investing over time is more likely to yield positive results than trying to make a quick profit. Think of it like building a house. You need a solid foundation before you can start building the walls. In investing, this foundation is your understanding of the basic principles and your financial goals. The same applies to investing. A solid understanding of the fundamentals will set you up for long-term success. This means knowing how different investment vehicles work and how they fit into your overall financial plan. So take the time to learn the basics and you'll be well on your way to building a strong financial future. Education is the first step towards becoming a confident and successful investor. Remember, every expert was once a beginner. Everyone starts somewhere and with dedication and persistence you can achieve your financial goals. Now that you understand the basics, let's talk about setting financial goals. Setting financial goals is a crucial step in your financial journey. It gives you a clear direction and helps you stay focused on what truly matters. Where do you see yourself in 5, 10, or 20 years? Visualizing your future can be a powerful motivator. Take a moment to think about your long-term aspirations and dreams. Do you want to retire early, buy a house, travel the world? These are common goals, but your personal aspirations might be different. Maybe you want to start a business, fund your children's education, or achieve financial independence. Your investment goals will shape your strategy. It's important to align your investments with your objectives to ensure you're on the right path. Short-term goals, like buying a car, require a different approach than long-term goals, like retirement. 
Short-term goals might involve saving in a high-yield savings account, while long-term goals could involve investing in stocks or bonds. Next, consider your risk tolerance. Understanding how much risk you're comfortable with is essential in choosing the right investments. How much are you willing to lose? This is a critical question. If the thought of losing money keeps you up at night, you might want to opt for more conservative investments. If you're young and have a long time horizon, you can afford to take on more risk. Younger investors have the advantage of time, which allows them to recover from market downturns. If you're closer to retirement, you might want to be more conservative. As you approach your retirement years, preserving your capital becomes more important than seeking high returns. Understanding your risk tolerance is essential for choosing the right investments. It helps you avoid making impulsive decisions during market volatility. Don't invest in something you don't understand or that makes you uncomfortable. It's crucial to do your research and seek professional advice if needed. There's no one-size-fits-all approach to investing. Each person's financial situation and goals are unique, so your investment strategy should be tailored to your specific needs. Your goals and risk tolerance are unique to you. Take the time to reflect on what you truly want to achieve and how much risk you're willing to take. So, take the time to define them clearly. Write them down. Putting your goals in writing makes them more tangible and helps you stay accountable. Make them specific and measurable. Instead of saying, I want to save money, set a specific target like I want to save $10,000 in the next year. This will help you stay focused and motivated on your investment journey. Tracking your progress can provide a sense of accomplishment and encourage you to keep going. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about making consistent progress over time and staying committed to your goals. It's about making consistent progress over time. Just like a plant grows slowly but steadily, your investments will grow if you nurture them with patience and discipline. Picking the right platform. With your goals and risk tolerance in mind, it's time to choose an investing platform. This decision is crucial as it will serve as the foundation for your investment journey. There are tons of options out there, but some are better for beginners than others. It's important to find a platform that matches your level of expertise and comfort with investing. Robinhood is popular for its user-friendly interface and commission-free trading. This makes it an attractive option for those just starting out, as it simplifies the process and reduces costs. Fidelity offers a wide range of investment options and educational resources. It's a great choice for those who want to learn more about investing while having access to a variety of tools and services. eToro is known for its social trading features. This platform allows you to follow and copy the trades of experienced investors, which can be a valuable learning experience. Each platform has its pros and cons. It's essential to weigh these carefully to find the one that best suits your needs. Consider factors like fees, ease of use, and available investment options. High fees can eat into your returns, so look for platforms that offer competitive pricing. Do your research and choose a platform that aligns with your needs and preferences. Reading reviews and seeking recommendations can provide valuable insights. Don't be afraid to try out a few different platforms before settling on one. Many platforms offer trial periods or demo accounts, allowing you to get a feel for their features without committing. Many offer demo accounts, so you can practice without risking real money. This is a great way to build confidence and understand how the platform works. Choosing the right platform can make a big difference in your investing experience. A platform that aligns with your goals and preferences can make investing more enjoyable and less stressful. So, take the time to find one that you're comfortable with. This decision will impact your ability to manage your investments effectively. Remember, this is your money, so choose a platform that empowers you to make informed decisions. The right platform will provide the tools and resources you need to succeed in your investment journey. Building a beginner portfolio. Now, let's talk about building your portfolio. Diversification is key. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your investments across different asset classes like stocks, bonds, and real estate. For beginners, I recommend starting with simple, low-cost index funds or ETFs. They offer instant diversification and are a great way to get started without needing to pick individual stocks. If you're interested in picking individual stocks, do your research. Look at key metrics like the P.E. ratio, earnings growth, and market trends. Don't just follow the hype, understand the business behind the stock. Remember, investing is about owning a piece of a company, so make sure you believe in the company's long-term prospects. Start small and gradually increase your investments as you gain more experience. Don't be afraid to ask for help. 
there are tons of resources available online and at your local library. Start small, grow over time. You don't need a lot of money to start investing. Even small amounts, invested consistently, can grow significantly over time. Dollar cost averaging is a great strategy for beginners. It involves investing a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, regardless of market conditions. This helps to smooth out market volatility and reduce risk. Remember, investing is a long-term game. Don't get discouraged by short-term fluctuations. The stock market goes up and down, but over the long term, it tends to go up. Compounding is your best friend. It's the process of earning interest on your interest. Over time, this can lead to exponential growth. Be patient and stay disciplined. The magic of compounding takes time to work its wonders. Don't try to time the market. No one can predict the future. Just keep investing consistently, and you'll be amazed at the results over time. We've covered a lot today from understanding the basics of investing to building a beginner portfolio. Remember, investing is crucial for building long-term wealth. Start small, stay consistent, and don't be afraid to ask for help. The most important step is to start now. Even small amounts invested regularly can make a big difference over time. Don't let fear or procrastination hold you back from achieving your financial goals. What are your biggest investing questions? Share them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more beginner-friendly investing tips and tricks. I'd love to hear about your investment journey. Share your success stories in the comments.